Welcome back artists. Today we are going to start painting our rainbow drip painting inspired by Jen Stark. The order is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. If you look at your temper cakes, you will notice that you have all of those colors in your tray. Temper cake is a dried paint. If I take my dry brush and try to paint on it, nothing comes out. So to start these paints, we have to activate it by adding some water, dipping it in the water container, and then we're going to use our brush and sort of swirl it on the cake. You want to check your bristles. You see how my bristles have turned red? So that tells me that my brush is full and I can paint my red color. You will notice that the color gets a little bit lighter when you start to run out. That is the brush telling you you need more paint. When you paint with temper paints, every time you get more paint, you're going to want to add more water to your brush. I'm going to also turn my paper so that I am painting close to where my paints are so I don't have to carry it all the way over and maybe accidentally drip onto my painting. So I need more paint. I'm going to dip in water, swirl in the color, and then go back to painting. I am carefully doing my edges. I want to go all the way to the edge so there's no white between that black line and my red color. Water, dip, swirl, and paint. Now that I have my red painted, I need to switch colors. We don't want to just take a red brush and put it in the orange paint. So we're going to take our paintbrush and we're going to tap it on the bottom of the water container. You can see how that separates the bristles and gets the color out of the brush. And then I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to dab it onto the paper. You want to make sure that there is no color in that water. And then that tells you you are ready to go on to your next color. So next is orange. Again, dipping in water, swirling to get the paint working, and brushing. If you are not sure what color goes next, make sure you refer to the picture on the board so that you are going in the correct order. And you're just going to continue painting each of the rows with the color, cleaning your brush between colors until you complete the rainbow.